Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I want to share with you a recent purchase that I made from the Longchamp Canadian website. And so I did jump on the bandwagon and I picked myself up this Le Pliage pouch with handle. I had been eyeing this for a while now and I know it's constantly sold out and really hard to get. Um, of course, I purchased this when I did see it back in stock on the Longchamp Canadian website. But of course, if you are trying to get one of these pouches, there are other retailers that do sell them. So definitely recommend uh, checking those out if you're trying to get one of these. Uh, but otherwise, for me personally, when I saw this orange come out, uh, I went and it was sold out. So I just signed up for the notification for when it went back in stock. And then later I did end up picking it up when it came back in stock. So originally actually for a little background context, I was interested in picking this up in the orange color from the La Pliage uh, green line and so that one is the orange nylon with the matching orange uh, leather accents and then the hardware is in silver and I think the kind of main feature is it does have that lime green edge coating just on the leather tabs on the side and so I was really considering that but I wasn't 100% in love with it and I think it was just with the lime green I didn't love with the orange and I, it was very orange with like the orange handle and something about it was just not 100% drawing me in and I'm so glad that I waited and I did pick it up because then when this came out with the newer colors that they've recently released I was super excited and I instantly knew I wanted to pick this up. I don't know what it is but orange has been catching my eye as of late and I was really interested in picking just a small little something for myself to have in this sort of color. So I love this. It's a little bit brighter in this camera than in real life. I think it's a beautiful kind of warm um, more brown leaning orange color in real life and I think it's a really beautiful piece. So I'm super happy that I did end up picking this up. In this video though just I'm gonna go over a kind of more in-depth overview of this pouch and then I'm also of course going to do a what fits in this and do a comparison between uh, another long shot pouch that I do have. It's from an older collection but you can still get it directly from the website and I'm sure in store as well. And then I'm also going to touch base a little bit on the kind of the strap kits, the conversion kits that are very popular and I've actually purchased one already previously and I've done a video on my channel so I will just share my thoughts on that quickly at the end as well. So uh, just first off again I purchased this off of the Longchamp uh, Canadian website. This was $110 plus tax and at the moment and it actually has been like this for a while it is currently free shipping uh, and also a complimentary gift wrap. And so I ended up picking the free gift wrapping uh, just because I was curious to see what that would look like. It took about a week to arrive to my doorstep after ordering so really quickly and it was really well packaged in an express UPS cardboard box and in that box it came in this long chomp bag and of course it was nicely tied with the bow but I've opened it and on the inside it's the brighter green color and so it had of course the paperwork so my receipt um, and another little card just stating the item that I did purchase so the pouch in the orange color and then on the inside the pouch came in this really cute little plastic ziploc um, bag so this is really cute um, I think it's really well done on one side it actually has the LTP um, kind of monogram pattern on it on the other side it is actually just clear it just has the horse logo there and then it just has the barcode for whatever you've purchased so this is really cute actually and I think you could reuse this for something if you wanted to but that is what I believe the gift wrapping is and so it comes in the gift bag and then this little um, ziploc bag as well so aside from that of course here it is and um, it did of course come with the usual care card which I've just left in there for now but that is kind of the process of purchasing off of the Longchamp website. I have an account with them and I've made multiple previous purchases and I honestly have never had any issues and I do really appreciate um, their service and 
haven't had any issues with the actual products that have arrived. One thing to note is that um, it does appear that you do have to pay a fee if you want to return online. Um, and aside from that, then there's no other issues with returning, unless of course it's marked as final sale. Unfortunately for me, I don't have a actual physical long shop store where I live, uh, but if you do, then that's even more convenient because then you don't have to pay any fee if you just go directly to the store and return the item. But moving on, I'm going to do a really quick overview of this pouch. So I'm going to leave the dimensions on the screen um, according to what the website says for the size. And it is actually quite a small size bag. It's not um, going to be substantial. You're not going to be able to carry a ton of things, but I think it's just a great option if you want literally um, something as a grab and go to stick your bare essentials in there. I got this in the Le Pliage original line, so that is with the nylon and the contrast brown leather accents and the gold tone hardware. Otherwise, it's a very cute little piece. It's literally like a miniature uh, Longchamp Le Pliage. It has, of course, this leather flap with the gold button detailing and the Longchamp logoing there. It has these leather tabs on the side. It has one handle on the side, but it does look like the usual handles um, folded and then sewn on the back and then of course it has the uh, Longchamp model déposé uh, debossed on the leather on the back and there's no button here because it is so small but aside from that that's pretty much it and then it buttons closed like that and then inside it is white so very easy to see and of course here is the Longchamp care card that comes with it so that's pretty much it. Um, there's not much to it, but it is a really cute piece and I'm really happy with this. So in terms of what fits, this does fit a decent number of things, but again, it is not the biggest little pouch. So for sure it is mainly your bare essentials. So me specifically, I would definitely of course put my phone here. This is a Samsung S22 phone case. And of course this fits no problem. And it could definitely fit uh, larger phones as well. As you can see, that fits and there's still tons of space. Of course, I'd probably put in a card holder or a really small compact wallet. This is the Louis Vuitton business card case. So this one, of course, fits in there no problem. And with that, there's still lots of room. Um, and here, you're going to be a little bit more strategic, I would say. If you have a lot of like flat items, I think those will easily fit in. But something like if I have my usual little pouch here, if I stick that in, it does fit. But then it just really starts to um, take out quite a bit of room. But that does fit, so I'm going to stick that in there. And then I probably put my keys in there as well. And so those would just fit if I kind of maneuver those in. And you can see it kind of sticks out like that, but I am able to still zip this up without any issue. And then I can even button this close. And as you can see, it does still fit, but I would say that is the maximum. If you want to fit a couple more things, I definitely just probably have things out of the pouch. I think with something so small, you really don't need the extra organization like this. So definitely if I took out the items, so let's say like eye drops, I have this little case, this has some medication like Advil, those sorts of things, and then like a lip balm. If I just took those out like this and then I stuck them in, as you can see now there's a lot more room. And I could even fit in something like my AirPods, so this can easily fit in there, and then also like a phone charger. So if I just have things loose in the pouch, then it can definitely fit a couple more things. Again, just easily and you can close it. So quite small, but still fits everything that I would really need on a quick, you know, outing. If I was just running errands, those sorts of things or going to grab coffee, something like that. All the things that I would possibly need definitely can easily fit in there. Um, so I think this is such a great little grab and go piece and something reasonably priced if you wanted to add just a cute little pop of color. And I think it's so cute, especially for those that are a fan of the look of the Longchamp Le Pliage. I think this is such a cute little piece to add uh, to your collection. And so yeah, that's a really quick what fits. And now in comparison, here is the Longchamp pouch that I have. This is from the LGB collection and you can still purchase this 
on the website. Uh, on the Canadian website, it only comes in the black and white version. But if you're out on the look, I know when they still had the club line um, and for a while there, they had this exact kind of style for the pouch, uh, but of course in different colors. So if you're interested in this specifically, you definitely will need to purchase uh, secondhand unless of course you're interested in this LGP version, but in the black and white. And so as you can see, just off the bat, um, I will put the dimensions on the screen for this pouch here and this pouch here, just so you can see them side by side. But as you can see, this is quite a bit bigger actually than this pouch with handle. So definitely keep that in mind if you're looking for something a little bit more substantial to fit a lot more things in if you're using it for more of an organizational catch-all sort of pouch in like a larger bag. So I definitely will be sticking with this piece in terms of um, keeping it to put a bunch of my things when I'm going to work or those sorts of things when I did fit a couple more things because as you can see just with the you know added size it can fit a ton more things. So right now I actually just have um, this bag of some like feminine products. I have this full-size hand lotion here. Um, I still have a mask in here and then I also have this bottle of hand sanitizer and then I have this little tie to go stick but even with all those items in there it is quite um, roomy. So if I just stick them all back into the pouch, as you can probably see, there's still a ton of room. So if I were to empty this out, so again, I'm just going to stick everything out. So I have like a charger, my AirPods, I had these three little things. So I had um, a lip balm, some medicine, and my eye drops. If I stick these back actually in this little pouch right here and then I have of course my keys and then I have this compact wallet and I have my phone so all of those items I probably can't fit everything but just add it into this so if I just stick in my wallet airpods the charger keys I probably wouldn't stick my phone in here because I don't usually use this like as a clutch. I use this as a catch-all in a bag, but I'll also stick this little pouch with everything in it. So I've moved things around a little bit, but everything that I just stated is still in there and you can still actually fit a couple more things, but you can actually just zip this closed and everything fits in there. So it fits substantially more. So definitely if you're looking for their pouches online, read the dimensions that it states because this is far smaller than some of their old pouches that they used to have and i believe even before the style pouch when it looked similar to this but i also had a little top handle i believe that one is more along the size of this and i also used to have another pouch with a handle uh, from longchamp and that was the same dimensions as this sort of piece all right, and then finally, last thing I want to touch on is the very popular kind of conversion kits um, and adding a strap to this pouch. I think it is a great option to consider. It makes this a lot more versatile because then you can carry it on your shoulder or crossbody and it kind of changes it more than just like a top handle carry. And so it's a great option to consider. Of course, there's so many different videos online. You can punch a hole on the leather tabs. You can, I've seen like people wrap scarves on the handle and then also with that scarf attached like a ring to it so then you can easily add another strap on there or you can of course order the ones where they have the leather um, attachments that you just put on the base of this handle and then you can clip on whatever strap that you want and it usually does come with its strap as well. So I actually um, previously purchased that exact conversion kit um, and I ordered it specifically actually for my small Le Pliage top handle. And I do have a video on it, so if you're interested in that, I will link that down below. But it was actually meant for the pouch with handles. So when I ordered this, I thought, you know what, instead of just jumping the gun and purchasing that conversion kit for this pouch as well, let me just test with the kit, even though it doesn't match, it's green, but I'll just test it on this bag anyways. And so when I tried attaching the leather um, attachments to the base of the handle, which I figured, because looking actually at the uh, handle itself, I was like, oh, this is actually definitely smaller in comparison to the size of the handles on the small Le Pliage. I thought, okay, this should be no problem. 
but funny enough and I don't know if you know throughout the reiterations or the new seasonal colors um, and just the new production of these pouches that Longchamp may have tweaked anything on these um, because I could not get those little um, tabs into the handle. It was literally impossible. So basically, heads up if you are interested in purchasing those conversion kits and you're getting a newer version of the pouch. And newer as in just the like the newer release colors like this orange. I know it came out with like a green and a blue and all of those. But just a heads up uh, to be a little bit cautious in terms of the conversion kits that attach directly on the strap. I truly struggled and could not get it to fit. So I'm not going to go and purchase a kit for this and I don't plan to punch any holes in the leather tabs either. And honestly, I'm really happy to just grab and go with just the top handle as a pouch itself. I think it's really cute that way still. It still doesn't deter me from using this pouch anyways to use as a little kind of bag or a little pouch to go out. But yeah, I think that's about it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions though, definitely leave those down in the comment box and I will do my best to answer those. Otherwise, I hope this video, like I mentioned, was helpful. Thank you everyone who has watched my videos, especially those that have subscribed. I really appreciate it. I'm nearing a thousand, which I cannot believe. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, I don't know, if I can reach it at the end of this year, that would be amazing. But otherwise, I do hope you all have an amazing day, night, wherever you are. Uh, and I will see you in the next video.